Hi there. Hi, I'm Olusha here. Oh, Labi. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Lightboat TV, where you'll be watching edifying, comforting, and exhorting content. As you watch, please, please, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to press the notification bell so that you could be notified when a life changing content is dropping. Thank you so much. God bless you. Life Hoops TV committed to the preaching of life with Jesus through visual. Message shall follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Set my eyes on you again. I heard you had relocated to Ghana. Yes, yes, I have. But I, I came on to establish my longer dream. You should uh, yeah. understand now. <laughs> so you mean you are still on this issue of address? <laughs> yes, so yes, so yes, so that's my source. Ah. Uh, but wait, uh, what about mm, your family? Because mm, I know you should have been married by now. Yes, yes, I have. I have married with um, two kids. Wow. Two kids, um, <laughs> Actually, my, my wife is a Ghanaian, and uh, you know, she's behaving, you know, 
this is probably some about um, it's understandable. Uh, I believe that she will join me here by God's grace. Ah, oh, girl. Ah. Joseph, ma. I have to come home because of my vision and it's my life. No, the Lord specifically instructed me to come back to Nigeria. And since then, I've been strategizing on how to go about the building, the location, and as well the staffing. How are you doing? How about you? I'm doing great, though, to the glory of God. I can see. I'm married to, happily married. Wow. My husband is here, too. Okay. Probably waiting for me in the car. Oh. I have two kids now, and they are in boarding school. They usually come home during all the days alone, due yeah, to the yeah. nature of my job, you know? Yeah. 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 Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I understand, I understand. Anyways, it's, it's nice meeting you. Meeting you again. It's nice meeting you again. Um, I will be attending your church in sport. I, I, I love the spiritual atmosphere of this place of worship. Not like other places of worship that they are just, just calling for funds anyhow, you know. I love it, I love it. You're welcome once again. Uh, please, let me start going. Excuse me. Sorry, please, can I have your mobile number? You know, I'm, I'm new here and I don't want these people to cheat me. Especially because of my industry. Uh, I will need your help and advice. Okay. All right. Have a great day. All right. Take care. All right. Um. Where have you been? I've been looking for you. Looking for me? Am I missing? Missing? No, I'm not even talking about missing. No, I, I saw you walk out of the church immediately after the benediction. And I thought that you'd be heading towards this place. So I came out, I didn't see you. I looked for you everywhere. And that's why I came here to wait for you. I've been waiting for you. And thank God I'm here now. Please, shall we move? Ah! You are not happy. What is it? Huh? My God. I said I'm okay. Oh, what is the definition of your happiness? Please. It is well.
Hello? How was service today? Fine. Oh. And yours? What about your husband? That one. It's fine, no? Oh. Kike, what is it again? I said it's fine. Ah, see, I don't call you to ask of my husband. That one. The one that I used to nag always. I don't even know this thing. Most things he does pissed me off easily. I don't know why. Kike, you mean you are still on this? When do you want to stop all this? When do you even arrive here? I think we need to talk. Like seriously. Talk about what? Please, that apart. Guess who came to our church today? Who? I think you should be talking about Jesus visiting you during the service today. Joke apart, joke. I'm not talking about Jesus. Do you remember Joseph Mark? Yes. That brother that used to disturb me for the relationship back then in our Joseph Mark, now, don't tell me you can't remember him again. You mean, Mr. Joe, your admirer? <laughs> that was serious brother back then. And what about him? Thank God you said on serious back then. <sighs> you can't believe this brother came to Nigeria all the way from Ghana to establish his textile industry. You can't believe it. Ah, that brother is a go-getter. Oh. Since all these days, he still remember his goals. Ah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Abba, Kike. See the way you are talking about someone you have departed from since 17 years ago. Blushing. I'm praising him like... What is that now? I'm only saying what I know about him. Is there any offense in that? I pity you. You better focus about your life and leave that brother alone. Please, don't start what you will not be able to finish you. Monsa Temio. Please. Let me... Let me finish now. I will call you back. I will call you back, please. Hello? 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 <sighs> Lord, have mercy upon this woman. I don't even know what is wrong with her. <sighs> Who is this? Go with him, Elevant. What's your mo, Elevant? Mr. Joe, Joseph, Mark. You're welcome, sir. Just checking on you and to also make some inquiries. All right, I'm all his. I'm sorry to bother you. Please, I wish to have an audience with you. For some times now, you just packed out of our bedroom. You came here. And this is not our bedroom. You should come back to our bedroom. Please, I need to talk to you. Please. Oh. 
and you know it's been an active day. And moreover, I have a series of meetings to attend tomorrow. Please. Okay. I'm sorry. I promise that it's going to be brief. Okay, I'm all ears. Thank you so much. Honey, you know this is a Christian home. Where Jesus is our foundation and our all in all. Christ is the pillar of this home and he's been everything to us. You see, I have weighed our life and our world in recent time. I could see that everything has really changed, for instance. We understand ourselves most of the time. It is difficult for us to reach a compromise on some salient issues. I, I can't even see the Kike Lomo that I got married to 14 years ago. If I talk to you, you talk to me back. We don't play, we don't crack jokes, we don't gist as we used to do. Talk to me, Kike. When last? Do we study the Bible together as a family? When, honey? When? <laughs> and finally, tell me, when last did you allow me to touch you as your husband? Yes, I knew it. I know this is where you are going to end it. Is it a food? <laughs> did I starve you of your meals? You said we don't pray together. Considering our work hours, how can we find time to pray with that? Eh? You will leave for your office while I leave for mine. You will have decided on so many issues before you bring it to me. Do you take me for a fool? Am I a nuisance? Eh? And you said we don't play crack jokes and gist like before. Are we not growing no? Sweetheart, I will not grow up. You better stop being childish and face the reality. See, I'm busy more than that too. And the body that does not rest in the day cannot play in the night. We agreed to put our children in the body school so as to find time to face our career. And that is what we are doing. But if you know you are not comfortable with that, you know what to do. Honey. You know that this is not all about me. Alone. No. I, I, I know that your relationship with God is wounded and that's why our relationship is wounded too. When your relationship with God is wounded, you will have less love for your spouse. Yes. There you go again. Did my God report me to you? Did he tell you that I'm not relating with him again? Did he complain to you about me? Please! If you know you have an issue with God, go ahead though. But spare me. You can Honey? Don't touch me. Please. Don't even try it at all. You that have cordial relationship with God. Don't you think I will pollute you? Please, stay away from me. Stay away. Jesus, save your I'm okay. You can go. Good morning. Close your eyes. Good morning. Please go. I'll get to my workplace when I'm done. <laughs> but your car is at the mechanic workshop. How then do you intend to get to work? I said. I will go when I am done because I can't afford to stay you 
with my sin of not being intimate with God. So you can go. Oh. There, it has not gotten to that. I was only trying to explain certain things to you. I do not mean to hurt you. Okay, please, I'm sorry. Do you think I'm joking? I'm not joking. I'll get to my workplace when I'm done. So go. Thanks. Okay. It's all right. Um, then I will call you later in the day. Have a nice day. Savior. Good morning, sir. How was your night? Oh, if you do not forget our appointments today. Yes, I don't. I will call you when I get to the office. You can you just come over and pick the documents? Oh, you are not in the office yet. Mm, yes, I'm still at home. I'm waiting for my mechanic to bring my car. Mm, I'm sorry about that. I'm heading towards your office, or what do you think? Mm, no problem. That means I will send the address of our bus stop to you. Thanks so much for your concern. I'm very grateful. You're welcome. What are friends for? Thank you, sir. I'm not a happy man. My wife has become something else. Honestly, I am fed up. Each time I try to talk to her, she misunderstood me. It's nagging all the time. Anger everywhere. In fact, it's so bad that sometimes I find it difficult to sleep. Honestly, I'm fed up. I know well, I got to a point. But you must not be fed up at this moment. Your tenacity, your commitment and endurance must be high. I want you to know one thing, you know I me? Mean? That the devil is seriously waging war against your home. And by any chance we will not allow him to take over. We will engage ourselves in personal prayer altar at my home family level and by the grace of God I want to believe the Lord will see us too. Amen. Amen. It is well. If I may ask you, what about her spiritual life now? Mm -hmm. That one. That is serious. Mm. You mean it has deteriorated? That is to say the least. In fact, it's worse. Uh uh, unbelievable. You know, my wife that I always see as a very spiritually upright woman, spiritually inclined, has gotten to the point that hardly can she pray. You don't mean it. I'm telling you the truth. You remember that at a particular time I was telling you that uh, my wife insisted that we should send our children to the boarding school. And I didn't want it. I said, I don't like it, but when the problem started, <laughs> when the problem started, who gave you problem? My wife. Uh -uh. I was the one that asked her to continue. I have resolved into looking, trusting God, praying. That's all. Anyway, you must not be fed up yet because 
God can still work on her and change her spiritual life for better, even more than her previous years. I pray, I pray. Amen. Yes. Only that. I don't want you to be weary. You must keep on striving, keep on fighting. Don't you believe in Jesus that he can turn around any situation? Continue praying. And I, I know that for sure he will see us through. It is well. Thank you very much. God be praised. What a praise. Savior, Savior. Thank God. going out. I want to go and visit my friend, Kemi. Tell me today is Saturday. How can't I just enjoy my wife today? Now please, let's make this relationship work again. That's it. There you go again. I'm talking about visiting a friend. You are talking about a relationship. How does that correlate? Ah, you complained about everything. Darling, I have a plan to go out with you today. At least to, you know, talk together, play together, pray together as husbands and wife. And you just woke up, entered the bedroom, and got dressed. Ha, preparing to go out. Oh, we don't even observe money devotion together as a family. No personal quiet time. You don't prepare food for me. I knew it. That's it. That's where you are going. Why is it always about you? Listen, I don't need to announce my quiet time as you do. Because it's my devotion, not yours. Moreover, I don't think I even reports me to you. Talking about yourself always. It ain't prepare me. Hey, 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 hey. Aren't you tired? To the best of my head. I'm making this marriage work. But you need to work on yourself. Yes, you really need to. Because you haven't read in your Bible. In honor, preferring one another. But no, not you. Always full of yourself. I'm talking about yourself. Do you even remember today? No, I know. You will never remember that. But always full of yourself.
Hello, Mr. Joe. Good morning, sir. Thanks for the other time. Thanks for the gift. God bless you, sir. <laughs> Birthday girl. Why are you doing like this? You are not happy. Uh, I'm okay. No, you are not. Today's your day now. You have to be very happy. You have to be joyous. Talk to me. You know you can talk to me. What's it? What's the matter? Do you want me to take you out? Mm. Actually, I would have loved to. But I'm heading to my friend's house now. Friend's house? On a day like this? Your birthday? What about your husband? Today being your birthday, is he not supposed to you know, celebrate with you? Do you know my husband actually forgets my birthday? It's unbelievable. Ah. <laughs> That's serious. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Are you crying, Kike? Okay. Can we can we meet? At least to cool off your head. I can't leave you like this. Let's meet at um enjoyment restaurant. At least that is nearby. Go to your friend's house after that. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Hello, good morning and happy weekend. I am very sorry we will not be able to go again. She just went out. I think she's coming to your place because she says she's coming to see her friend. Thank you very much. My best regards to your wife and children. Thank you. I'll call you later. Hello? Please, uh, have you seen her? Who? No. She hasn't got her. Did she say she's coming here directly? Ah, you mean my wife has not got into your house? No. At all. Because when she was leaving, she said she was coming to see her friend. And... Uh, so, so you mean my wife is not there presently? No, she's not. I said it. I said something is wrong. My instinct can never deceive me. Oh, Ore. Don't talk like that. Don't think that way. Have you tried her number? With the way she left the house in the money, she's not going to pick it. I know. I know. And this is past four. 
Okay. I will ask our friends to try a number. Okay. Thank you. Don't worry. It's okay. My. My. Yes, Bobby. Did you by any chance speak with Kike this this morning? Ah, uh, no. Why do you ask? Yomi said she's coming here to see you. Uh, actually, we had an agreement to see each other today been a birthday to discuss and I decided to do a little surprise for her but I did not see her and I've decided not to call her because she might have changed her mind because that's what she does these days. This is serious. She left home since morning, promised to be here and she's not here. Where do you think she must have gone? But as Uncle Yomi tried her number. Yomi said she would not pick his call because of a little misunderstanding they had this morning before she left home. Oh, maybe I should try her number then. That would be fine. Okay. Hello, Kike. Where are you? Doing what? With who? All right, you know what? Don't bother to check me again. Just go straight home. Your husband needs your attention. Good day. Where is she? She says she's in a restaurant with a friend. Oh, Jesus. Why is Kike doing all this? I don't even know what is wrong with her. Ah. Honey, we need to take this issue serious before the devil snatch this woman from us. Ah. This is Kike that is even more serious spiritually than all of us when we were single. <laughs> what you call spirituality is not. Being spiritually sound, deep and rooted, is not in church activities that someone engages in. You see, Spirituality is when someone engages himself in consistent personal relationship with the master. Some are spiritual because of the environment they find themselves and because of the kind of people they move with. So, can you now say your friend is spiritual? Oh, this is serious. Sir. Honey, do you believe that Kika intentionally sent all their children to boarding house because she wants to be free? <laughs> but my question is, free from what exactly? At the stage that the children really need attention, the children are their same age. In fact, I'm greatly astonished at her characters these days. That is why. I think I deserve an explanation to your whereabouts this morning. Where have you been? Why are you treating me like this? Eh? Why are you taking my love for granted? Why? Please, I need to sleep now. Can you spare me of any explanation for tonight? 
because I need to catch the first flight to Lagos. First thing tomorrow morning. Flight? To where? For what? But I think I mentioned Lagos now. I'm going to Lagos for a business. I want to go and clear some goods. So, I, 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 I don't understand. What have you been thinking about this? To, tomorrow is Sunday. I mean, we are supposed to be in church tomorrow to serve our maker. What's the meaning of all this? Why, why do you have to choose tomorrow? Out of all the days that we have, why not Monday? Why? Why? Are you now my manager? Do you want to control my business for me? I need to supply some goods to a newly opened factory on Tuesday. And I must clear the goods tomorrow. Or do you want me to lose customers because I'm married? Look, this is my work and this is my life. I can serve God any day and any time I like it. For as much as I'm still alive. Abby? You see, we were not like this from the beginning. I mean, our relationship was not like this from the beginning. When and how we arrived at this point, that's what I don't know. I don't really understand. I gave you everything. I allowed you to serve God, to hone your business. I freed you. Kike, I freed you. Is this what I will get in return for my love and sacrifice? You see, I can't, I can't. In fact, Kike, Kike, you know that you are my life. You know that I love you so much. You might say that. In fact, you are my everything. Please, let us make this marriage wear the picture that it should wear. This is unfair. I beg you, for the sake of Christ, the one who instituted marriage, and the father of this home, you see, let us put an end to this trash. I call it trash because it is interfering with the purpose of this home. Now please, please, let us bridge this gap. We should not allow the devil to stand or stay or have a say in this home. Please, please. Good night. Something is wrong. Something, something is wrong. Oh, 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 oh. I have a mission. My mission is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. <laughs> that will I accomplish in a subtle way. Oh, 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 oh. Please have mercy on me. Mercy? <laughs> Not here. Ah. Do you know who I am? I am your feeling. And I entered into your life. The very first day, you got tired of your spiritual life. <laughs> when you go on recess of your Bible study, and the fire for your prayer life went down. <laughs> when you are wearied of your spiritual activities, then I stole your time. I made you become so busy with your things. My business, my work, my life. <laughs> and when your love for your Lord diminished, the love for your husband, which is your spouse, and your children suffers it. <laughs> I have succeeded in killing your interest in your marriage. Now, I have come to destroy you! Jesus! Kike? Kike? No, it's, it's not possible. God. God. Jesus, save your
why will I continue to waste my resources on a tree that is unyielding? I spent my time, my energy, my resources for it to bear fruit. But no, it remains unyielding, taking my gentility for granted. Please, brother. Ha? Huh? What do you mean by her? Can't you see I've been referring to it as an inanimate object? The day she detached herself away from me, that day, she seems to be animate. You see? Any tree that fails to bring forth food as expected seems to be living to me. So, it has become inanimate. I have to heal it down. I can't continue to supply it with nutrients when it fails to realize the reason why I gave it everything. I sustained it, give it a good companion. Along the lane, his enemy came and succeeded over it when it's supposed to bring forth food. Ha! Huh? What a pity. Please, brother, spare it. For now, consider the pleading of our companion. Please, brother. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Fulfilling and serving purpose. Bearing food. Producing good leaves. Look at the branches. Strong and healthy. Imagine the strength of the tree. Why won't I continue to water it and provide it with everything it needs so as to produce more fruit? As for this, I will give it a little more time. If it fails to bear fruit, I will cut it down. Ah, thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Hello, pretty. Ah. It was great. Straight to business. How are you moving this morning? Mm, actually, by nine o'clock to the park to board the airport. Yeah. And you? I think our movement is the same. You don't need to go to the park. I will come and pick you. Then we move together. What do you think? Alright. That's okay by me. That means I will be fast. I will be expecting your calls. Alright. Thanks so much. Why are you not on native? But I told you that I'm traveling this morning. Ah, please now. Today is Sunday. How do you want me to go to church without you? How do you want me to present myself as a priest of this house without my wife? I'm supposed to lead you into the presence of God. What do you expect me to tell the pastor? I should tell the pastor that my wife has gone on a business trip on the last day. That's it. 
There you go again. Hi, hi, hi. Must it be you all the time? Eh? Why all this now? And you know how much this business means to me. This is my business. Her business. <laughs> and I've informed you that I need to make this supply tomorrow. So what do you want me to do? After all, I wasn't allowed to work under anyone. So why won't I be able to serve myself? Please. <sighs> Kike, I know this is not you but the devil. And I will not allow the devil to take you away from the Lord. <laughs> That's good. Very good. So, what you are saying now is that I am bewitched. And, I, and the devil is using me. Good. But I promised you, you will soon see the real devil in this house. Wait, 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 please. That, that, that's not <laughs> what I meant. <sighs> okay, okay. Let me drop you at the park. Eh? The saints? <laughs> to drop the devil. Ah, thank you. Don't worry, sir. Thank you. I'll find my way. From the spirit of Gibeon eyes. From the spirit of Gibeon eyes. What with this come to an end? Don't allow the devil to prevail over this woman. I know you are over all the situation. I don't know what the devil is planning for me at my home. But I know that you are watching. And you will have us. I'm so sorry that I delayed you. Let's go now. Are you okay? I'm okay. Let's go. Be all day with you. Be Benny Lurio. I want to leave this premises without knowing what happened to you. At least for the sake of friendship. My husband. I don't even know what is going on this day. He not complained and misunderstood me all the time. I don't even know. I'm tired. Ah, uh, that's what we do. Especially when we are losing interest in a woman. We virtually monitor all the moves. See, it is better to live at the rooftop than to live with a nagging spouse. But you have to take it easy on yourself. Don't spoil your beauty because of any man. about my husband here. See, he gave up. <clears throat> to say the fact, ever since we were in the university, I hate seeing you suffering. And my dream is to marry you and keep you as the apple of my eyes, which you are. That car, that time, I saw 
So that's the card there at that time. And let you do a game, mini castle. So, whoa, be a yeti pot on the bo or canny baba one. Be Otora leg be rock. You are far more than gold. Any man that does not know how to take care of you is not fit to be called a man. And we are married. Please. Honestly, since we had come back together, I couldn't take my thoughts from you. Good afternoon. <laughs> um, good evening. Good evening. Evening. Sorry. Pardon my manners. Afternoon. Good to see you. What what's happening here? <laughs> um actually I saw your wife and she said she was traveling. And I was like, why would she be traveling on a day like this? I mean Sunday, you know. <laughs> and uh uh, at least Sundays are special days we serve the Lord, especially we. Actually, um, Sunday is not the only day we should set aside in serving God. Our personal relationship with God matters most. <laughs> that's, that, that's the point, that's the point. Um, I've, I've convinced her and... Um, anyways, she's, she's no more traveling. Abby? Yes, yes, yes. I will not be traveling again. Okay, uh, but, but I, I don't think I've seen this face before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, actually, we attend the same church. I joined some time ago and um, also a customer to Sister Kike. Oh, I see. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you. I guess that must be Mr. Joe. <laughs> you are funny. Yes. But I will call him back. I will call him back. Kike, you better stop this thing before he stops you. What is it now? 
Mr. Joe is just a friend, an harmless friend for that matter. Is there any offense in that? I really pity you. A married woman and a semi-married man. Eh? You are just toying with fire. I mean, you are just keeping fire in your bosom. Hmm. See, you have to remove this thing before it starts to burn you. Come off it. Get me? Come off it. What fire are you talking about? I told you this man is just a friend. And I don't think there is any offense in that. Hey. Friend. Friend or boyfriend. Kike. See, you have to quench this fire from its source. God has blessed you with a loving and wonderful husband. Please. Do not throw him away with your own hands. Eh? See, this fire has to be quenched. And it has to be first disconnected from its source that fuels it. See, I'm your intimate friend. And I can't allow or watch you to crumble these beautiful homes that the Lord has built for you. Wait, though. What are you even insinuating? Do you think there is something between myself and Mr. Joe? Come off it, friend. It shouldn't be you. I'm not saying you are having an affair with him, but... What is but? What is but, Kemi? Are you saying I'm unfaithful to my husband? No. No. I'm talking about that husband. I, I told you, I don't even know what is going on these days. But that apart, I don't have anything to do with Mr. Joe. We are just friends. That's it. Listen to me, Kike. If God sees you, let men also see you. Don't you think this carelessness of yours can lead you to an unexpected corner? What could crop up of these advances between both of you is unpredictable. Kike, offer confidence Receive great fall. Don't you think about the aftermath of this, your fasting closeness with this man? You are married for God's sake. And this man may have another intention that you don't know about. Don't you think of it? You are right. But the scripture says that Wisdom is profitable to direct. I know God will teach me what to do. He will teach me. Thanks so much. Kike, the Lord will not teach you what you already know. All you have to do is just to detach yourself from this man and that you can do by yourself. And you know this man very well. And I'm not sure he had a change of heart. And if this man has not been circumcised by the Lord, Kike, what I'm sensing may come like a flood. Jesus, Savior. Actually, we are not here to please another. We are here to make an inquiry. Okay. A few days ago, we were here. We booked a birthday surprise. But due to an unforeseen situation, we were unable to be here. And we want to know if you people can refund our money. I don't. That may sound absurd to you. Anyways, did you drop the picture of the celebrant? Yes, yes. Please. Ah, well, wait though. This woman was there with a the man on that day. Yes, they? she was there with the man that day, sir. Ah. That's not possible. Myself and my friend planned the surprise birthday. 
she wasn't aware. She wasn't aware at all. So it's not possible she, she came. Of course. Yeah. Sir, she was there with a man and Ah, a man? Yes, sir. How could she? I'm confused. Who is that man? Ah, who is the man? Actually, with the look of things, I think the man must be her husband. Because if you see the way they are doing on that day, like, haha, <laughs> love is really sweet. Mm -hmm. I see. So, sir, you have spent your phone. But if I may ask, who are you to the woman in question, sir? Excuse me. Good day, sir. What? I can't believe this. So I listen. Charles, I can't believe this. I, what, what's the meaning of this? Charles, does that mean that my wife is cheating on me? I know, Jamie. Don't go to the S3. It's not up to that. Although, I'm confused also. Not because because I, I've shown her enough love, and I doubt uh, she will have any reason to do that. About. Uh, if eventually that kicker is cheating on me, it's going to be bad. I don't know how I'm going to cope with that. I love her. I love my wife. And I've always given her everything. <sighs> Christian sister, Tike Lomo is used to be a fervent and vibrant sister. How could she be doing this? Yet, we have to take it easy. We have to take it easy. We have to be slow in taking decision over this matter, okay? I, I, I can't be slow in any decision making for now. I, I, the best I can do is this. Because those girls, those ladies, what they said, they were just sure of it. Yeah. They saw a man, simple. Yeah. The man was all over her. <sighs> I will get to the root of this matter. It is war. Well. It, it is war. It is war. Save your I'm okay. What is that? I said your food is ready. Please, let's go and eat, Cho. I am okay. Wait, oh. What, what, what did I hear? Did you just call me Ife? Ife? I believe you're not talking to me. Because the last time I checked, I have become a non entity to you. So it's not possible, it's not possible I become your affair just like that. Senseless woman. How could you even call me that? What have I done to deserve such a name? Ha! Huh. You don't deserve it. You have, you, you have acquired it. Ha! Huh. No wonder you enrolled our children in the boarding house. As your husband in this house, I find it very difficult to even touch you. And I never knew that you have been enjoying yourself everywhere, anywhere. Anyways, I am not surprised. Since your love for God has dropped grossly, how will you not then commit adultery? Hold it. Why are you saying all this? Is it because of the man you saw me with this morning? How could you even think about that? It's not a thought or a fact. Okay, tell me, where were you yesterday? I was with a friend. Correct. That's the truth. You were with a friend, a mad friend. And both of you went into the restaurant. It was all over you. Ah, ah. Christian sister. Ha! Ah, I don't even know that you have deteriorated to this extent. And if I me, it's not what you think. Oh. oh. You insisted on traveling this money, and as your husband, I gave you instruction to stay back. You said no, you must go. <sighs> and someone from nowhere. 
possibly a man that you cherish so much? Huh. Just advise you to come back home and you came back. By the way, who's that man? At least you were together in the car for over 20 minutes. Uh, um, although... That settles it. That explains it all. You see, the truth is, I can no longer live with an adulterous woman in this house. Ah, Jesus. After all, the Bible says that you can divorce your wife. On the basis of an adultery. Huh. Also, you have said it times without number that you are fed up of me, that you don't have feelings for me, and I cannot continue to beg you to do that. Therefore, I am done with you. Sweetheart, please. No, no don't come close. Ah. Don't come close. Sweetheart, please. I am done with please. you. Please. Ah, Jesus. Ah. If I may please. Ah. Jesus. What have I done to myself? How did I even arrive here? Ah. Lord have mercy on me. How can I get out of this mess? How? What has come over me? Jesus. Ha. Ah. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Daddy. Good evening, sir. <laughs> what are you ah, Daddy. Fire. Fire. My house is on fire. Fire? Yes, Daddy. How do you? Daddy, I'm done for. My home is at the verge of collapse. Please help. Uh, Okay. What happened? Actually, I had a little misunderstanding with my husband. How's that going? Please, I've been trying this number and it's not picking his call. Please help me, Daddy. Okay, I'll try. Please, just Okay. But why would this brother not pick up his call? Baby, please pick your call. Ah, where do I go from here? Lord, <laughs> please help me. <laughs> ah, honey, hope all is well. Uh, all is well. It's just that Sister Kike is having an issue with her husband. Her husband left home angrily with his car. And I've been trying to call his number. He's not picking up his call. What could have happened? I need him to leave his house in the And he did not even pick your call. Yes. If you will have to go out and trace him, how will we go to Mr. Charles' house? Because they are his friends. I think that's the case. Or what do you think? I think that's the idea. Okay. Maybe we should go right here. How did you get in? Oh. Actually, I I saw your husband's car an hour ago and uh, he didn't even close the gate. Who pulled his way? Wait! Are you stalking on me? Me? No. Just caring for you. 
All is well. Please, you can go now. I'm okay. Because you have already caused ruin to my home. Please leave. <laughs> Do I look like someone that can cause ruin to you? I only <laughs> come to check on you. That's all. And I said I am fine. Just said leave. I know something must have warranted that. Let me cool you down with just a touch. You know, you can always trust me. You know, your, your, your husband doesn't deserve you. Just told you. I asked you to live my life. Do you think I'm joking? Joe, live my life and leave my home. I don't want to set my eyes on you again. Leave now. I'm not actually after your home, but you. Don't you know I still love you? And I still want you to be mine forever. So, you are deliberate about your closeness with me all this while. Ah, I'm indeed a fool. Ah, why didn't I notice all this? When did I even arrive here? Joseph, so you actually work on my feeling and my stupidity. But now I know better. Please live my life. It's too late. Jesus! Ha! Ha! Joseph, please. Going to lie down ha. now and allow me to do what I want to do dead daily. Jesus! Because I'm going to show the world that Christian sisters are easy. <laughs> Ah, yeah, I'm in trouble. You see, the, the, the industry has ah. scam. Jesus. <laughs> in fact, the, the church, <laughs> it's fake. Jesus. I only ah. do that to arouse your feelings. Ah. I planned it to trip, ah. but I was unable to get you. <laughs> you only escaped. Because I arose your feelings, this could have happened in the hotel where we will lodge. All planned. <laughs> Minister Joe! Forget. Jojo! See, I told you. These Christian sisters, you know, they are they can be deceived. I told you now. Huh? I don't know any feelings. They are not different from others. Mr. Joe, Mr. Joe, <laughs> you and this your adventure, eh? you can say that again. You see, <laughs> FM, the Lord has anointed me to chase after Christian sisters. Mm -hmm. FM, and it's for fun. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> it's so sweet. They are so sweet. <laughs> Funny enough, their husband have not eat much of them. Uh, uh, anyway, anyway, um, uh, you talk about anointing. Who anointed you? Is it the same Jesus Christ that I know that you are talking about? <laughs> anyway, that aside, um, what about that um, woman? That lady that escaped your trap while on campus during our university days? Well, la la! That's the That's the That's the That's the That's the Actually, she escaped them. For now, FM. <laughs> I fully strategized. Ah, ah. FM. I go to tad me. Kilo lo si. Hey, I gbara lo lo mu wa. I gbara me. I'm fully equipped onto all good works now. Equipped indeed. Ah, anyway, um, which strategy are you trying to use on that lady now? Emijo. Uh huh. Ah, you just wait and watch. I told you I've joined their church two Sundays ago, and she bought all the lies. Oh, Monty, most of the money. Okay, okay, no. Uh, uh, I'm not born again, and uh, 
My families are in Ghana. Ghana indeed. <laughs> uh, that reminds me. What about your wife? Yeah, are you hearing good. from her? Wife. Forget about that one, daddy. Wife, Kenny. See, I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. I'm an, and I must fulfill the mission. There eh? you go. Don't worry. I'm going to update you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Please, 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 please. Don't ruin my life. Ah. Honestly, I don't know why my wife is doing this. I am really, really disappointed Bro Yomi, what is the matter? Your wife called me a few minutes ago. You mean my wife called you? Yes. So she could call. What is mm. Excuse me, bro. What is it? Okay. Let me try to say something here. Sir. Okay. My wife is having extramarital affairs. God forbid. Mommy, it's already happening. When did you discover that? I, I, I actually have been suspecting her for some time now. But today, I caught her at your wrist. Jesus, I can't believe this. Never. Where? Bro Yomi, there's need to go to your house right now. I am not going anywhere. I've left that house and I won't go back there. Please. Yeah, I'm sorry. Eh? Can the devil be entreated? I only work on your feelings with my care, gift, and fake love. Ha! Huh? Okay. I was unable to get you voluntarily. And I will force you for laundry. Ha! Huh? We should not give devil chance to rule over your house. I said I am not going into the house. I have left that house. I'm no longer interested in her. Then I go. Bro, you me? I will sort You her. should not give devil chance to rule over your house. I believe your wife will be waiting for us now. If she's waiting, let her wait. Let her wait till eternity. I am not going. I'll find my way. I, I, I will find my way. I'm fine. I'm not going. <sighs> Bro, you're me. Please, Bro, you're me. There's need to go to your house to settle some things. Please, we are appealing to you. <sighs> we need to fucking care. We are not friends again. Ha! Ah. Uh. No. No. I would rather die than to face this shameful heart. Kill me. <laughs> Killed. But where will you land now if you end your life? <laughs> you have unconfessed sin. If you don't know, Kike, you better get down now. And if you want me to waste your life, so be it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please, Lord, forgive my carelessness and my foolishness, Lord. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, <laughs> wasting my time as you lie down for death. No. Jesus. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 
of um, unfaithfulness, but this is a question of life and death. She wants to kill me. Pastor, please, let me ask this woman what my offense is. That she wants to kill me. Daddy, it wasn't like that. I was fooled. Please, help me to beg my husband to forgive me. Uh, How do you mean? Can you shed light on this? Because I'm greatly confused. <laughs> Actually, I... Hey, Daddy, whether she talks or not, I am less concerned. Can you imagine? Could you believe that yesterday I planned a surprise package for my wife? And this woman left the house in the morning and did not come back until very late in the night. She actually said she was going to her friend's house. But she didn't go there eventually. She went into the restaurant with another man. Till now, she has not confessed who that man is. Hmm. Ask her if I'm telling lies. Ask her. Never. How do you know this, bro, Yomi? Please don't give devil more chance in this house. Hmm. Daddy. You think I'm telling lies against my wife? Myself and Charles, my friend, were in the restaurant this afternoon to get a refund of the money we paid for, for a surprise package for her. Because, of, of course, the money did not fulfill the purpose for which it was paid. And when we got there, what we heard nearly destroyed our eardrum. Because they told her that she came. That she came with a man. That they even accept in the place as a husband. Because the man was all over her. All over her. In fact, the, 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 the most embarrassing thing is that a waiter oh my God. from the restaurant was asking if I am a member of a family. Can you just... Sir, the truth is, I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I don't want to see her again. No, something must be wrong somewhere. Sister Kike, please, as your father and the law, tell me the truth. Because I know you to be a vibrant Christian. When were you captured? That I don't know. Daddy, mommy, <laughs> although. I'm guilty of all this offense. In fact, I'm worthy of crucifixion. <sighs> Truly, I was with a man. But it hasn't gone beyond friendship. Friendship? Okay. Who was the man you were with yesterday? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Ah, Daddy, it was, it was, it was brought yourself. That's it. Jesus. Can you see? I've said it all. Sir, let her go. I've lost interest in her. Please. Don't. 
come near. Don't come near me. Don't step back. Step back. Yesterday, I was pleading with you to stay with me in this house. And you left. You went and stayed with that man. Can you imagine? Please, bro, you me. Don't conclude in that way. After all, you still acknowledge her as your wife. Please forgive her. Forgive. Yes. Forgive my fool. Please forgive her. Please, please, what? please. Jesus savior. Savior. <laughs> It's not up to that now. Pala pala pala. It's up to that. It's that. Ebebole <laughs> Ah, ah. Hey, the Morino. Say, what you pay or dine locony? Oh, say, be Me, she only Ah, Ah, uh, koda mi ti e wa go mi mo pe ojo ti lo bayi. Mi o de dagbere nle tele fun ya wo ata omo mi pe mi o ni sunle. Tori awon omo mi ati yawo mi mo se lo le. Eh eh ma binu. Eh ma binu. Oda agbara kunrin. Eh oda o yen to ti lo bo ngan. O ma di be. Mo mo so rese o ko ko. Oya ya so rese bo. Ara kunrin. Mo ti rin lo jina po. Padawali, Padawali, Padawali. In the bill, don't worry. Case in can't you live for a lot of it? Come on, I do do it. You know, cause it be daddy. Oh, that is what I call a lot of the other one. Oh, that's all about that. 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 Oh, that's all about you have really hurt your husband. Honey, what are we going to do now? Huh? My dear, the Lord will teach us. But please, call Gandhi. We will sleep here tonight. And I know there will be put to shame in this family. Amen. Amen. Hello, Gandhi. Daddy said 
We are sleeping over at Rayomi, a church member. We are sleeping in his house tonight. Please, lock the gate and take care of the house. God bless you. Good night. Sister Kike, are you sure you had no intimacy with this man? Oh, Daddy, please believe me. Although he tried some move when we were in his car, that was when I realized there is fire on the mountain. I don't even know that I have gone a little bit from my master. And please help me to find solution to this problem. Please. <laughs> Holy Spirit. Jesus. Holy Spirit. Jesus. Is this your room? No, sir. But that is where I've been sleeping for some time now. It means you have not been sleeping with your husband? <laughs> Sister Kike? Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Sister Kike. Jesus. Bro, you're me. Bro, you're me. It's only me. Please open this door. That is the place we are going. Ileti and Oni. Say how the Oni will be there alone. Eh. Oh, she the Oni. Oh yeah. Eh, so, eh, so, eh, so. Lord have mercy. Are you expecting anyone? No, ma. Oh, it sounds like the vigilantes group around here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you sure? Yes, ma. Maybe they are here for my husband's support. Then go and call him. Ah, for me. Okay, <laughs> I understand. Oni? Yes? We had a sand at the gate. And Sister Kike said it must be the vigilante group. Please, help me tell Brian me so that he can attend to them. They have wolves in the garden. They look like children of God. But the nature is not of the nature of God. 
they go extra mile to achieve their goal. Their weapon is all they can awarde. Give your night. Save your life. 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 Lokuni <laughs> Ko si nga to she mi yo, mo wa o ke, mo wa dada. Eh, 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 she sha ti, ba e ba o we, to lo ni ba lo wa o. Ah, ibe ke, ibe, ibe, ibe wa lo we. Ah, ibe lo we. Ah, abe wa ri, o to mo ri, ibe re. Ah, o da le, para kulo kon ri, yi. Eh, mo dada o. Ah, mo dada. Ah, ah, be se se nu. O wa digun ba mi ni ya wo ni o. Koda o ti fe n fi pa ba ya wo mi lo. Eh? Olorun ni o gba fun. Jesus is Lord. Bro Joseph. Sorry, Mr. Joseph. So you are a wolf in a sheep clothes. Ah, ejo alagba. Ki lewi. Ko bu e bo le nso ko ye wa. Baba, eni emi lati arakunrin yi. Ase ikoko to da wa gun tan Joseph what do you intend to gain from all this life? Ki le fe gba ninu aye ikoko buburu yi. Ki le fe gba ninu aye itanje yi. Aye iro, aye agabagebe. To fi gbe igbe aye awon ara Gibeoni. O nse bi omo Olorun lati ba omo Olorun laye je ati lati da idile won ru. Asiri e si titu. O gba e femuru yi lati ma da ile oni leru. Lati ma ba aye awon eniyan je. You are Gibeonite sent to deceitfully join the army of the Lord just to see their secret and to destroy their testimony. Shuban, Olorun Bagbara lo wo re. I'm sorry. I have nothing to do with this. Though I planned, but it failed. And I promise you to change. In fact, I am a team person. Please, sir, don't go and have this thing to take me away. Please. I, I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Papa Savior now. Sister Kike, uh, Mr. Ibi, please. Ah, very sorry. Try this place on the house. Hey, Baba. I like my daddy. I'm going to be a drug. I'm going to be a drug. I'm going to be a drug. Suba, I want to see a roof in it. Christian, I want to see a roof in it. Ise yin ni eleyi o to ba to si arufe o ni ke fi se eh alagba e wi ire mo de je pe iba arakunrin yi ibo nke last month ni be ni sugo e ge bi sa wa gba o wa je bo nke o o je be gidi o a te o ko mo daran idili awon olopa na ja go olopa a si jo fin ni nitori pe bagba account afen ti ba ntire ejo e gbo gbo awon aso un se se kini mo ki lo so ina ti o dure nu ayi e wo baba ise ti yin ni n to ba ti to to ye ke se funru arufe be e lo se fun agidimi o e wo a wa nlo na a wa fe le igbo fi oya gbira so e juro na iwo emi itanje ninu aye arakunrin yi e mi ro e mi agabagebe ninu aye ran sekunrin yi mo pa ola se loruko jesu to ya jade i'm right here i'm in charge now 
in charge where? Sister Kike's body is the temple of the Lord. And it has been purchased with price. Her body is not your abode. She's not your captive. The body has been purchased by the blood of Jesus. You, this foul spirit, inside this body, I command you to come out in the name of Jesus. I will stay here. I will complete my assignment in my life. I succeeded in the life of Joshua, the son of God, and the Israelites. Is she greater than Joshua? I will complete my assignment here. Yeah. No. Jesus has completed our work on the cavalry and made a public show of you. Lose your foot off. In the name of Jesus. Lose your power off. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We really want to bless the name of the Lord for exposing this man after all. Draw your me. Please find it in your heart to forgive your wife. She has, she has learned her lesson and she is now helpless. Please forgive her. Jesus says in Matthew 6 verse 14, if you forgive others their wrongs, your heavenly father will forgive you your wrongs too. Also in that same verse 15, it says if you don't forgive others, your heavenly father will not forgive you your wrongs too. Please, brother, forgive her. Please, brother, please. I love my wife, and she knows how much I love her. But she broke my heart. Shattered my heart. Just imagine that that man break her heart. Hmm. He could have been sending the video or the picture all over the world. Hmm. My, my, my wife was so careless, so gullible that she could not discern the Gibeon around her. And because of our spiritual tiredness and Bro, you me, it is well. Please let us have our seat. Please. We give thanks to God Almighty. Yes, watchfulness and prayers are the keys for the smooth running of Christian race. Whenever your love for the Lord is being taken away, then your love for your love, I mean your spouse, diminishes. No matter the level of your feeling for someone, the person you are committed to rank first in your life. You must understand the commitment is greater than feelings. You can love someone, but building a trusted relationship takes absolute than what attracted you to them. Sister Kike, as at the time your feeling draws from your husband, that was when they were to control. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 38 that the just shall live by faith. If any man draws back, I have no pleasure in him. Sometimes you may realize that your feeling draws for your husband. It is your responsibility to fill in the gap so as to put the devil to shame. That could happen for many reasons. There is always a time of loneliness, but you must not give the devil a chance. Marriage is a ministry of modes of work where 
you must work to make it work. Yes, building a relationship is a hard work. It's like building a career. It's like pursuing a dream. It may be sometimes bitter, but you can make it work. We thank God the thief came to steal, but could not kill, not destroy. So let's show our appreciation unto the Lord. I saw it for me. I saw it and I prayed very hard. Thank God. Femi, please. Please forgive me. I'm really sorry for taking your love for granted. And I promise henceforth I will always open up to you. Whatever the situation may be, please. Give glory to God. Thank you for everything. The devil has already lost this battle. Be. Thanks so much for your love and support. Thanks so much. We are so grateful. Bless the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Checked on them? Yes, I have. But I insisted that they must take breakfast before leaving this morning. That's good. So. That's very good. Um, there. The principal of our children called on Saturday that um, we need to visit them in the school. Hope everything is okay. I hope so. And so, I really want us to go on time today. Oh, do you have any appointments? Ah, appointments can. Okay. Any appointments can wait till further notice. My family confessed in everything. Thank God. Thank God for this. If I me, I was even thinking that maybe we should withdraw them from the boarding school. That's good. Is that your final decision or will you deliberate about this? Ah, there is nothing to deliberate on again. I have decided. I want to give them time. If I need to forfeit anything, I am ready to do that. Just to take care of them. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. Thank God for this encounter. Okay, I'm in full support. We are doing this together. Thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. So, let's go back to our hotel. Let's go. Daddy, 
Thank you so much for your support and love. All thanks to God. So, we have decided to draw our children from the Bojan House. Why? Is Bojan House not good for God's children? No, Daddy. The children were not formerly in the Bojan House. It was their mother that insisted that they should go there later. Okay. Yes, Ma, you are correct. Daddy, these children are in their delicate stage, the teen age, where they really need proper home training and to learn godly living, of which some hostels are lacking, although some are really doing their best. And to the best of my knowledge, but the house is a separate home where children are being raised and trained for parents that are busy and are used to travel home. So, by God's grace, I have decided to limit my movement, especially traveling, so as to have time for my children, because I believe that is my ministry, and that is where God wants me to be fruitful. Wow! Wow, fantastic. I appreciate your presentation and I salute your courage. Thank you, sir. This is where many parents missed it. As a woman, the first ministry is your home. So you don't leave your children to grow by chance or love. I'm really impressed. Give your